In this video, we hope to provide an in-depth explanation of a specific set of protocols and procedures used to database botanical specimens here at the New York Botanical Garden. The workflow that we outline here represents what we have developed for the NSF-funded TCN, Lichen, and Bryophyte digitization project, and we hope that this video can serve as a model for the other imaging institutions involved in this project. If you would like an introduction to the project itself, you can learn all about the principal goals and rationale by watching our TCN Lichen and Bryophyte introductory video on YouTube. Up until now, the process of databasing lichen and bryophyte specimens, as well as all other herbarium collections, typically involved manually entering the entirety of a specimen's label information, making for slow and tedious work. These logistical constraints greatly increase the costs associated with specimen digitization and reduce the practicality of building any large-scale, multi-institutional electronic databases of botanical collections. This project was conceived as a means of implementing the newest and most automated image capture, text recognition, and data entry procedures while drawing upon the traditional benefits of collaborative action for the purpose of maximizing the efficiency of mass specimen digitization. In the herbarium here at the New York Botanical Garden, individual lichen and bryophyte specimens are stored in separate packets made from archival acid-free paper, accompanied by a label on the outside detailing present and historic taxonomic determinations, along with collector, collection date, habitat, and locality information. Packets are adhered to one side of a standard herbarium sheet, with anywhere from 1 to 10 packets, generally from the same geographic locality, attached to each sheet. Sheets are filed into folders based on the most recent genus species determination, and within species, specimens are arranged using a geographical scheme. Finally, genera and species are arranged alphabetically within their respective families, which are then arranged phylogenetically within the herbarium a feature which make our herbarium unique amongst most lichen herbaria. The geographical subdivision of specimens within each species is favorable for the efficient location of determined specimens from North America. However, any setup which ensures that the individual specimens are isolated from one another and that current taxonomic determinations and collection locality information is easily accessible on the label are compatible with the general digitization procedure used here at the New York Botanical Garden. Stacks of folders containing lichen or bryophyte collections are removed from the main herbarium cabinets and are transported to a nearby computer terminal with access to the New York Botanical Garden electronic database. These stacks are then searched systematically to locate all fully determined North American specimens which have not been previously databased. Thanks to the meticulous efforts of the garden's curators, folders shown to contain only specimens from outside the U.S., Canada, and Mexico can be skipped outright, helping to reduce the time expense of searching through inappropriate specimens. Within folders containing specimens from the appropriate geographic regions, Undatabased collections can be quickly identified by the lack of an official barcode sticker, since previously at NYBG, specimens were only barcoded after being fully databased by hand. For each undocumented North American collection that is found, a new specimen record is added to the New York Botanical Garden electronic database. At this stage, however, only the most recent taxonomic determination is entered into each newly created record. A small, conspicuously colored annotation label, inscribed with the name and a few details of the TCN project, is tightly inserted into each specimen packet destined for digitization. 
An official barcode sticker, coding for a unique 8-digit number, is attached to the outside of each undatabased specimen packet and is scanned by a reader in order to link each electronic record back to its respective physical specimen. This procedure allows for the simple and reliable differentiation between specimens that remain partially databased temporarily while this digitization process is underway and collections that have been fully databased previously by hand. Additionally, the brightly colored annotation label serves as a visual cue to the imager, indicating which specimens in the collection require label imaging. We have had these labels produced by a printer in batches of up to 50,000 at a time. In cases where a single taxon is represented by many specimens, an automated template procedure is used to create a long list of new records with identical taxonomic identifications and sequential barcodes, drastically decreasing manual computation and accelerating record creation. Despite the fact that we use advanced software to create preliminary records for our own multidimensional modular database, for this particular project, each set of specimen records is eventually exported as a simple two-dimensional spreadsheet containing the determinations and barcode numbers of the specimens to be imaged. If you do not have access to a modular database like the one that we are using, you may wish to simply create your database in a two-dimensional spreadsheet application like Excel. Imaging of the labels proceeds after specimens have been barcoded, annotated, and have had their current taxonomic determinations databased. At this time, stacks of specimens are taken by the imager to a specialized digital photography rig. Our setup consists of a downward-facing Canon EOS Rebel digital camera mounted on a Bencher tabletop copy stand with attached fluorescent lights. The camera is linked to a nearby computer terminal and is remotely operated using Canon digital photo software. Herbarium sheets containing target specimens, previously marked with conspicuously colored annotation labels, are positioned on the horizontal stage in the center of the camera's view frame. Clean black felt mounted on a portion of semi-rigid poster board is used to cover up all but one target specimen packet at a time, and a single digital photograph is taken of the outside label. A barcode scanner is used to label each digital photo with the unique 8-digit barcode number assigned to the specimen it represents, and the image is saved in proprietary Canon RAW format, extension CR2, directly to the hard drive of the operating computer. The pieces of mounted black felt are rearranged as necessary as each subsequent specimen packet is photographed, scanned, and saved. This procedure is repeated until every marked packet in the herbarium is processed according to the methods just described. Large bundles of raw image files are transferred from imaging station computers daily by IT professionals who oversee the remaining steps of post-processing to be performed here at the New York Botanical Garden. Using Adobe Photoshop edge detection software and an automated computer script, images are automatically cropped to remove the black outlines, resized to 1600 by 1200 pixels at 300 pixels per inch, and saved in three different file formats, TIFF, Full Color JPEG, and Grayscale JPEG. The first is used for archival purposes, the second for the New York Botanical Garden Virtual Herbarium, and the last is suited for outsourcing to the central image storage servers for the TCN Lichen and Bryophyte Digitization Project, where specimen label images taken here at the garden will be united with those taken at the other 16 imaging institutions. From there, digital translation of specimen labels, parsing of information into appropriate database fields, and georeferencing of described collection localities will proceed through a combination of automated and manual procedures employing both optical character recognition and natural language data processing software 
as well as human support from institution employees and volunteers. In the later stages of the project, the workflow coordinator here at the New York Botanical Garden will correct the database records associated with specimens imaged at our institution. We hope you have found this video introduction to the workflow procedures used here at the New York Botanical Garden to be a useful guide for designing or modifying your own databasing and imaging processes for the TCN Lichen and Bryophyte digitization project. If you have additional questions regarding the details of the procedures introduced in this video, please feel free to contact our project coordinator here at the Garden, Dr. Brendan Hodkinson, by email at bhodkinson at nybg.org.